All right, what's up, crew members? Welcome back to another recipe and mukbang. Today, y'all, this is going to be my first time making brown stew chicken. Jamaican brown stew chicken. I'm going to keep this recipe as authentic as possible, but I did take a few liberties, so just uh, bear with me, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, so first off, I just started off, you know, with some white vinegar over um, chicken legs. These are primarily chicken legs with a few thighs in there. Skin on. I just added a uh, good bit of white vinegar and water in a bowl. Let that sit for a little bit. <clears throat> and then I scrubbed them and rinsed them in my sink. Y'all, if you want to peel the yellow skin off, you can, but really that's just the result of the feed that is given to the chickens and it's perfectly healthy. I know some people remove it, but I didn't. I patted the chicken dry, put it in a dish, then I cut up some um, yellow onions, some green onions, and some orange bell pepper. Those are the only bell peppers at my store, believe it or not. And um, I put those in a bowl, added some um, kitchen bouquet, I know a lot of Jamaicans use gray brownings, but I don't have that in my area. I added some brown sugar to that, um, a good bit, because this is gonna be a big pot. Um, added some smoked paprika, um, pretty ginger as well. And then uh, some uh, ground ginger. And then I added some uh, allspice, which is real key to uh, this recipe. So. If you can find a Jamaican allspice, I suggest you use that, but I just use regular allspice, which is very similar. I use some uh, coarse ground black pepper and some salt, and then I just took and uh, mixed that all together, and that's what you have. Boom. So then I just, after that, I just poured it over the, uh, the chicken that I patted dry, mixed that in real well, and then um, I transferred this all to Ziploc bags. And um, which I'm gonna put inside of other bags, um, like food line bags, grocery bags, and put them in the refrigerator overnight for those to marinate. You just see the water running. I'm about to clean up that counter in my sink right after I'm done filming this portion. And then we come back the next morning. This next morning, chicken's been in the refrigerator overnight, just like this. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start removing the chicken from the bowl and just kind of leaving the vegetables in the bowl so that I can brown the chicken up. And then um, I'll add the veggies separately in a minute. So in my Dutch oven, I just add a little bit of canola oil in there, um, just enough to get me through um, searing all this chicken. Um, I just do a few people, a few pieces at a time. I try to sear it on all sides. Um, and uh, don't want to crowd because I do want it to brown pretty well. Um, so just here, you just see me just take my time and turning it. Turning, turning, turning. Trying to make sure I get them browned up because this is what is, of course, going to create your depth of flavor in the stew. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much what I'm doing here. You just kind of see me um, showing just different parts throughout, you know, browning. So there's going to be a crust to develop on the bottom of the Dutch oven, which is perfectly fine. The color, the dark black color, isn't isn't going to matter. That's going to be the flavor, but if you smoking, then it's too hot and it's burning. And the smoking, it's not, that's that's going to be bad. So you don't want it to burn, otherwise it's going to be a nasty flavor. So I skin those, I put those thighs skin down first, make sure I got a nice uh, sear on that skin. And then I'm going to add all of the veggies, marinate back to that pot, just like that. Like I said, y'all, the black on the bottom is just crusted, built up. It gets dark, but as long as it doesn't smoke, you're okay. Just control your heat because you don't want it to burn. Now to just mess your stew up. All right, y'all, so <clears throat> once I added that in, I let it uh, kind of simmer for a minute after I started around. Then I added in a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Then I added in some uh, garlic paste. You could have added this in with the marinated, but I just didn't. I actually forgot. And so, um, also, y'all, I added a lot of the same ingredients that I added to the marinade. I added a little bit more back in here, a little bit more allspice, a little bit more paprika, the ginger, all of that. I kind of just added a little bit more. Then I put some bay leaves in there, probably about five or six for the, uh, the size of the recipe I'm using, some thyme sprigs, and then I used some, uh, probably about four or five cups of uh, the uh, uh, Better Than Bouillon uh, chicken broth and then I just kind of stirred it in like I said this is a very large pot of uh, uh, brown stew that I'm making so I just was a little bit uh, 
generous with how much I'm putting in this pot. I put two uh, habanero peppers in there because we don't have scotch bonnets. Let's go to the Jamaican store and which was closed on this day so I couldn't go. And so um, I had to use the habaneros for heat. I didn't slice them. I just put them in the pot. Put my chicken back in there. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to cover it up. Reduce my heat way, 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 way down. Real, real, real low. Real low. You want this to simmer really low, y'all. And so after about an hour and a half or so of it um, simmering, and I just come through and I just push everything down in there. You know what I'm saying? Anything. Uh, just move the chicken around. Try not to be too rough with it because I don't want it to just disintegrate in the pot. It is probably starting to tenderize around this around this point. And then I reduce my heat even lower because it was doing a little too much for what I wanted to. Okay, but when I put the lid back on this time, I did vent it because I do want the, uh, to thicken up as it cooks. So this is probably about a total of about four hours of me coming back in, you know, checking it and everything. I did try to remove as many bay leaves and thyme sprigs from the pot as possible. I took the, sky, uh, the habanero peppers out. And this is the thickened stew at the end. I also just uh, made some uh, Jamaican rice and peas with that. And this is the finished product, y'all. This is my first time doing this. I really um, would like to make it again. It was so good. And uh, it just turned out better than I could have expected. And yeah, I really want y'all to try this if you haven't already because it was so delicious. Y'all going to see us eat this in just a minute. So yeah, love y'all. We'll see you in the mug. I was just about to talk about this. If anybody was in our live Friday. Ooh, the ghetto. The ghetto. I think I was already lit before the live started. That last shot I took <laughs> right before I hit go live, I took it and I was like this. After I hit go live, I opened my eyes and everything was like. I said, ooh. <laughs> What's good, fam? Welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny. We have hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag. hashtag the cannons. CCTV. Ooh. Uh-uh. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Once good, crew members. Welcome back to our eating show. Hi, right, y'all. So we back with another mukbang. And today, y'all, we got a little bit. We're going to take a little treat to the island. Aye. What we got, baby? So, y'all, today we have some brown stew chicken. And then we have some rice and peas on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. so I can't wait to. Y'all, I put the recipe portion at the beginning. Y'all, this is my first time ever, ever, ever making Jamaican brown stew chicken and rice and peas. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been dibbling, dabbling, and dabbling, dibbling, so I don't know how much I'm going to eat. Ooh. I'm going to try to eat, eat, but, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat as good. But you know, you cooking, you <laughs> Anyway, y'all, um, yeah, I'm excited about eating this meal. So, if you haven't already, y'all know what the deal is. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time that the cannons drop some heat for the night. And remember to hit that like button, y'all. And if you want to get your coldest water bottle, Links in the description box below. Remember hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the cannons move closer. I go oh, 50k. Yeah, we we're so close. We on the more. tip. <laughs> we on the tip of the iceberg. So please, please, please share us out. Yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I right, I will go ahead and pray so we get this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished to our bodies and bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh yeah. So we gonna have a little bit of a. A fun moot bond in there. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? Turn up. This is my indulgent weekend, y'all. Tomorrow, I promise I'm going to get back on track, which I ain't really been talking too much about, you know, what we'll be doing fitness-wise. Outside of the videos, we've been trying to do a little bit more serious. We've been working out diligently, but this past few days have been fucked up in the trash can. But, yes, you know, monster. toast to the weekend. Hey, mm. hey. We had chips for the first time in weeks. Which I think we had chips on one video, but at right. one point, y'all, we, no, we really, was chip chipping. We, we haven't really been even <laughs> even though on the video, like we didn't really eat that many. Mm -mm. So, like, because that's my weakness, really. I, I mean, people who don't know us would, would think that, uh, you know, that we just eat like whatever right. all the time. 
and that um, we gain weight from a lot of food I eat. I tell you right now, my weight gain is in snacks like mm -hmm. chips and bullshit. Mm -hmm. That'd be what happened. I got a, a cliff I now. Got about a in jail. Shots up, kid. That's liquor. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. Pull it 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 up. You some rice out and okay. I, I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all. This is I can't really. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna get Ooh. it's just for spill it, spill it's already been spilling. There we go. Yeah. Mm -mm. Just like to get y'all a good got juice going everywhere. Not juice. I know she ain't as warm as she was, but I was wanting it to be hot, but whatever. You can't have it all, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, Daniel. Hold your plate. Hold my bowl. Hold Probably should have got a bigger one. Yep. Stop it. Just go. throw it up there. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You got bones and all. Mm -hmm. Bones and all. Mm -hmm. I ain't them. Ooh, this is, oh, it is warm in there. Not, oh, snap. I got a whole piece. Ooh. There we go. It's cute. It's smexy. Mm -mm. Oh, this chicken is great. <laughs> Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just had a little bit of the sauce. I've been kind of mm. tasting it. Let me not do so much of this because that's what's going to fill me up. What, the rice? Yes. Man. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I tried to. Do this as low and slow as I could. Mm. Yeah. I tried to take my time. I marinated the chicken overnight. The rice is good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's the coconut milk. I tried to I marinate the chicken overnight. Try to use all the right spices, not cut no corner. This good. Mm hmm. Tender. <laughs> it's tender, tender. I was so scared toward the end. I was like, maybe I'll let it go too long. See, when you, that's the thing you gotta consider when you do videos. Cause like, like whenever we cook stuff, like if I cook something in a crock pot, I'm like, uh, mm -hmm. I don't want, especially if it's me, usually I'm waiting on it to like, be like, poof, you know, come off the bone. I want it to disintegrate, but I want it to be super tender. But see, like doing mukbangs, you always got to be in mind of the presentation. And so, like, toward the end of it cooking, I'm like, damn, if it don't, I need some hold. Mm -hmm. I need to look kind of hold so it don't just look like mush mm -hmm. on the camera. And for the thumbnail, steal somebody else's thumbnail. Hey! <laughs> no, I don't do that. I've seen it done. <laughs> I so need good. some more rice. <laughs> I'm gonna let it make it so long. I finally got the nerve. Well, it came out good. You did a great job. Thank you. Y'all, we've been watching 90 Day Fiance all day and Catfish. It is. Yeah. I this forgot. Is I a, hadn't watched it in a while. This is going to be a Sunday video, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> I had to make sure my chicken was good. So, I'll see it Monday, but we've been being lazy. Watching these folks be crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this shit good. So good right there. It's, it's got 
chicken. It's like, I wondered if brown stew and jerk chicken had similar flavors, which is the Jamaican. So you do see similar notes in the spices, but it's the, the stew aspect makes it so much different. I like jerk chicken from restaurants because they be on that grill, but I mm -hmm. We've been seeing a lot of people eat Indian food lately. I don't think I haven't had none in a while. Because I tried it last up here. Mm -hmm. The rice is good, but I can eat the chicken alone. I can eat either <laughs> one of alone. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And see, the recipe didn't see. I what I did was see. I'm whenever I come to like cooking like um authentic food from other cultures. Of course, I don't know how to cook it because I never did it before. But I never follow one recipe. The good thing about like learning how to cook over time for anybody that learns, you know what I'm saying, like you're not a chef, but you know what tastes good is over time learning how to cook, you can look at recipes and kind of like, unless it's just you working with ingredients you never worked with before, you can kind of like gauge how much on how to do something. Mm -hmm. So, what I usually do is when I'm cooking something like authentic dish, like a Mexican dish that I've never made of something before, I like look at several different recipes, whether they be on paper or whether it's videos, and I'll cross-reference and think of like how I'ma do it. Mm -hmm. And I try to stick to the core as much as possible. But the thing, the reason I do that is because some people recipes don't be hitting. And I, oh, mm -mm. Or I be trying to make sure it come out of it. Mm. So that's what I did with this. I actually didn't watch any videos. I just looked at a bunch of recipes online and they all had mainly the same spices and most of the same ingredients. Mm -hmm. I didn't put carrots in here. I bought them. But I changed my mind because I actually. Oh, went, I forgot. I was like, I didn't even see no okay. mm -hmm. I bought them, but I changed my mind. I seen I seen recipes people putting potatoes and everything, but I just mm. did. And um, um, but yeah, I just did it how I thought it. You based off of that. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. The same ingredients. It's it's gonna be in the pot for a minute. Mm -hmm. that, that's what it come down to, and so. That's how I did it, and it's really busted. Mm -hmm. Shot o'clock, AJ. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Brown musty. Uh uh. It's time for round two. Huh. <laughs> 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 what was that? Every now and then I gotta get, get my uh, little rhyme, look corn joke. Every now and then I gotta get my Dr. Seuss on. Y'all, what you want? Up? Oh, I was just about to talk about this. If anybody was in our live Friday. Ooh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. <laughs> oh, the casa was casa ing. Yes. <laughs> we was told out. I was amigos with everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> AJ was like. Uh, before we ever really started drinking Casamigos, we would see people talking about like on TikTok and stuff like Casamigos be taking them out like it be showing the before and then after they over here falling out the car and falling in front of the door and so we was like, oh, it can't be. Casa can't be Casa and like that. Right. And then Friday, Casa showed itself. Said, ooh. So look, 
I like Casamigos. Mm -hmm. And I started drinking it a while back, but y'all know I'm a Patron person. If you don't know, now you know. Mm -hmm. and, um, when it comes out to tequila, mm -hmm. I like Patron. And, um, baby. Casa is never really, it does what it needs to do. Mm -hmm. But it ain't never did me like if other people like be claiming it do them like it'll mess them up. Baby, Friday night. Whoa, whoa. I don't think I had been that messed up in a while. Hmm. I think I was up <clears throat> all of what? 30 minutes after we got off that line. <laughs> it might have been an hour. You were probably an hour. But the next morning, both of us was looking crazy. I woke up at like seven to go. Well, no. Yeah, I probably was like seven o'clock or something. AJ was like, can you go hit the switch to go turn the fan on? I'm like, yeah. I think I was still messed up. But anyway, <laughs> I go and hit the switch. And then I go down the hallway and I'm like standing in front of the thermostat. And I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> why am I standing in front of this thermostat? I done got confused. See the reason? So, our um, bedroom, we usually, our ceiling fan, of course, you turn the switch on the wall on. But the reason why it wasn't on is because we always turn it on. We have remote controls mm -hmm. to control the light in the ceiling fan. So, usually, we flick the switch when we go to bed at night. And then when we get in the bed, we hit the remote to turn the light off mm -hmm. but the, and turn the fan on. So, that night, we just got in the bed. And the reason I didn't get up and turn the switch on the wall on when I realized I couldn't just, because I needed to turn the fan on because I was feeling hot. And I, the fan went where I said, the switch off. But I couldn't move because I was so scared to move because I felt nauseous. Now, liquor usually don't make me throw up. I've never really had a problem ever throwing mm -hmm. up with liquor. But that night, I was laying in the bed. I felt like if I moved too much, that I might throw up. I don't like and it, that feeling. And it was really just nauseous. I don't even think I would have threw up. It just felt like I would. So I was so scared to move. So it took me forever to wake Danielle up. I was just like, Danielle. Danielle I be gone. Danielle. And then she finally was like, huh? I was like, can you please hit the switch on the wall, and turn the fan on? Or turn it <clears throat> And so she understood it right away, which I was thankful for. So she got up and I'm just laying there and I had the remote right beside me. Cause I was ready to hit that fence. <laughs> she starts walking out. I said, "The switch, baby, switch." She go flat, hit the switch. I turn the light on, turn the fan on. I'm just laying there, like, please don't go up, please don't go. Up. <laughs> and then she walks out and I'm like, where's she going? And I'm like, because she intentionally walked so past long. the wall, so I had to tell her to switch. I I, she went. So she thought I said the air. I'm like. No, and then but then I heard her go to the bathroom. I said, "Oh, maybe she went to the bathroom." No, I was trying to cover it up. I did have to pee, but I was like, <laughs> "He like I was like it was like the equations with the lady. They started. He said fan. Thing. <laughs> he did not say thermostat. And so then I went to the bathroom, and then I had to edit the video. I told AJ because he was still asleep. I was like, it took me longer to get myself together than it took me to edit. <laughs> Because yeah, I just could not get right. I was on crypto therapy. How much? <laughs> what time y'all open? <laughs> How much is it going to be? Because I cannot. I woke up because the BGs was getting to me. Ooh, mm -mm. The bubble guts. I was in the bathroom. This was probably about 9 o'clock in the morning. No, it was before. It was like right at 8. It was like 8 something. I was in the bathroom. You ever just hung over? And you, but you, you like, you, you there, you know, you gotta go use the bathroom and stuff like that. You functioning like that, but then everything is just like, why? <laughs> He's just like, why? So I'm sitting there nauseous as hell on the toilet, not trying to be too graphic, but mm. <laughs> I couldn't. Every time I got up, I had to sit back down, put it that way. So I'm just like, you feel nauseous as hell. You just, everything is just, I'm just like, I ain't been hungover in so long. <laughs> I don't be getting hungover because I stop. I'll be like, that once I tough. once I be buzzing a little bit, I'll be like, pump your brakes. Yeah, so, and I drink a lot of water and I don't be hungover. But that night, I was, I think I was already lit before the live started. 
That last shot I took <laughs> right before I hit go live, I took it and I, I was like this. After I hit go live, I opened my eyes and everything was like. I said, ooh. <laughs> I know that ain't hit me it this time. It was Casa Ing. <laughs> All right, y'all, before we go, I got a little, little, little story. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. So the title is. This woman has a boyfriend, but she's secretly sleeping with sugar daddy. Should she come clean? I thought you was going to say. Well, what did you think I was going to say? Sugar foots. All right. So, <laughs> this reads as thus. <laughs> so, me and my boyfriend have been together for a little over six months and have been living together for one month. Before we got together, I regularly saw sugar daddies and they were my primary <laughs> source of income while I attend graduate school. When we started dating, he asked me to stop seeing them. I did not and he caught one sending money to me. I told him it won't happen again. I moved to another state and started a new job to be with him and it's awesome. I found out that my job pays pretty poorly. Especially compared to what I was making before. Sugar daddy. Stop it. Well, this is Mr. B. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Where you been? Um, <laughs> so I started seeing sugar daddies again. I make roughly an extra $800 a week. Oh, oh shit. And I can afford to do things together. And equally split things without worrying. He has a good job and makes about 2000 more a month than me. I don't see sugaring as a fun time. I see it as a part of work. I also, she I said, always. She's just gonna say sugaring like a, like it's something you finna go in the bathroom with me. It says I always use protection and would never put him at risk. Do you think he would ever understand if I told him? Hell no, ma'am, ma'am. The fact of the matter is, you having sex with At least you just funny. <laughs> I feel like if you are honest enough. To let him know what your lifestyle consisted of from the beginning. But in the relationship, you should be honest enough to tell him that you don't want to stop that. Right. And then allow him to make that decision. Because no. Right. He probably he probably was already trying to make himself okay with the fact that mm -hmm. it was already something that you did. Because some people, it's not even about necessarily... Um, it's, it's not... A, it's not... It's just the moral thing for some people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just like it ain't even about feeling insecure. It's just the fact that you dating somebody that's, you know, really just sleeping with older men for money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like <clears throat> it don't mean that I'm insecure with how I, uh, how I am or mm -hmm. your feelings to me and what I provide in a relationship. But that could be, you know, already something for him to deal with mentally. Like right. the fact that he's he, like he's dating you and this. But don't he ain't gonna be if you, if you got to ask. He not. If you got the fucking ask. Stop. You already snow. Yeah, he ain't gonna be. And then my thing is that. So I feel like that she she's saying she doesn't do it as a pleasure thing that she does it for work. But I think a piece of her might like it because I'm like, if you were open enough to tell him from the beginning this is what you were doing. Why, when you moved with him and got a job that wasn't paying you enough, didn't you say, hey, can we split the bills differently or I'm going to go back being a sugar baby? Right. You know I mean? right. <laughs> and he probably would have obliged you. But, six, uh, but, but uh, $1,600 to win. Uh, $3,200 a month, but <laughs> that calculator ran up real, real quick. Uh, what kind of feed I got to spend? <laughs> that $3,200 <laughs> a month. For a little bit of, uh, for a little bit of, uh, what's she saying? Big Daddy and whatever else she got know, to she say. I she said something about some protection, though. Boy, yeah. But, um, yeah, hers she, might be a little advanced. It's, too. it's, you gotta know, cause, like, folk, you know, whenever, and then, the fact of, you know, real job versus, you know, that might be just, like, but, you know, actually going to a job and everything mm -hmm. is different. And so, in case, and it don't sound like, like Daniel said, it don't sound like she hated it. No. Because I think if she hated it, it would be easier for her to accept her new lifestyle and just her right. job and then just, you know what I'm saying? But, but I think she just liked the extra money. I think she, she I mean, because she probably, she's still working her job. Uh -huh. She like, and she's probably even making it worse. Cause and she like probably she was like, saying, she's still, excuse me, by doing that, 
she's still able to spit their bills um evenly and she's able to do things you know she's able to live her life comfortably she's right. like doing things that are it's probably worse than it was before considering that you know she, she actually has more income because she got a job mm -hmm. so she you know what i'm saying i still you know go talk to uh mr charles and then you Don't know what i'm saying after mr charles and i still go <laughs> work in the morning get that Stop. shit get a burger she want a burger i told her work it <laughs> I was with when he and said so, uh, he caught one of them sending her money. <laughs> you want a piece of it? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, you may as well tell him because you're gonna end up losing him anyway. So if you're trying to hold back in fear of him walking away, right. you know, being lied to will make a person walk away quicker than you know what I'm saying. Being having to face the truth or right. something, you know what I'm saying. And I don't, I mean, that's not cool to mm -hmm. me. Like. Like, um, you know, I don't I don't care if you take pleasure in it or not or whatever like that. Like, I don't give a damn if you're using protection or not. The fact that you is lying behind my back to go sleep with somebody else, that's just right. that to me, that's just me. I thought I don't got time for you. Like, mm -hmm. like, bye. <laughs> like, tell me I always use protection. Who gives a God, damn. Yeah. You did wrong. <laughs> Over here, out there with them wrinkly penises. Maybe they taste a pill. What? Viagra. Well, something probably going on. You know it. I mean, if they paying for uh, if they paying for the country, then you know they. I was like, how many men is it for eight hundred dollars a week? They got the Viagra and the Cialis. Is it just one? That's just never something I was into. <clears throat> I mean, hey. My feet and heels is crusty. I'm gonna be like, no, Mr. Charlie, I can't do it today. Like, folks don't get it how they live, and, this, right. and hey, you do you. Right. Man. If you at the end of the day, but you still owe that man the truth. Right. That's all I'm saying. Right. Mm -hmm. Ain't no judgment. You do what you want to, mm -hmm. but you still owe that man the truth. And to go back this ninety day, and then I'm done. I told AJ, I don't understand how people like when they're dating, especially when you're like over twenty five. And you're dating somebody and like very important things that lead to marriage like finances and religion and kids and how you function day to day. Like when you're not talking about these things, I don't understand why you continue to date that person. Because like when we was watching that show, it's some stuff like people's religion, how they eat, like things that they not going to be able to get over. But then right. you continue to go and get married. Like, I don't. <laughs> right. I don't understand that. Or even the kids thing. Because I think kids is a very, that's a very important conversation. Because if one person don't want to have kids and the other do, I don't think that's going to hmm. work. Because you have to change your whole entire lifestyle. I don't have kids. But you have to, I, I see people having to change the way they live when they, you know, when they start to have kids. There's some things that you're not going to be able to. Do what you want to do, so like I don't. I think I don't. I be uh, when it comes down to ninety day fiance, I always question like why is it so important for these people to cling to this infatuation whenever it's oh, clearly not going the right way. First of all, you already have you know the big thing separating you, which is distance, and you know the fact that somebody is from another place and it's got to go through immigration and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. That's the big thing. So I'm just like. Why is it so important for you when you see it's not going right? It's to cling to the infatuation and everything. Is it just the fact that you know you just really want to love this person that much? Or is it the fact that you sit here and you told all your family and friends how this was definitely going to work out? And so you don't want to look like a fool? I'm or is it the fact that you it. just put this much money in trips and back and forth? I'm just like, what is it to where these people can't just wrap it up? Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. When it's not going the right way, right. I'm just like, and that be even <clears throat> before the people move to the United States or I'm just the like, people that on? move, you know, to the other country or whatever. It be issues like red flags for me where I would be like, you know what, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> like, right. I'm done. Like, like the, I ain't gonna say the worst because I can't think of everybody right now. <laughs> But the most, to me, at one point, the most obvious relationship that wasn't gonna work out. If you watch the show was uh what's her name natalie and uh oh michael michael that was the religion thing i was talking about right. and the eating yeah because he like, was atheist 
He uh, he liked to drink. She didn't. She he ate meat. She didn't. She he, believed uh, in God. <laughs> she didn't like the way he was eating. Like it wasn't like you know. I know some cu couples. You know, the wife will be vegetarian and the man still eats meat and they're fine with he it. He moved but her she out not, to the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like she wasn't fine with why that. Why is y'all still doing this? And then that was like every time they would show them on screen, it's like awkward. It's like they're giving each other the cold shoulder. Mm. They really had like happy moments. I'm just like, why? Because you why? putting yourself through and they did that for like how long? And it was over two years because <laughs> she had got the visa to move over here. It's so crazy. Then something happened. I don't know if it was something with his mom or whatever. She goes back, and then when we watched Happily Ever After or something, the spinoff. She back with the man. She didn't came back from Ukraine and then went back with him. And I'm like, girl. I don't know what. It's girl, like, why is that it so is important? Uh, magic pee pee, you guys. <laughs> like, like, at this point, it, hey. I don't, hey. I don't understand. I don't know if he slept with. He slept. No, that's what happened. He slept at that girl house with the uh, bachelorette or something. But Whatever. it was like long before they even mm -hmm. finally broke up. We was just like, damn. Man. Let this shit go. Damn. Man. <laughs> Let it go. Oh, man, she, she, she tripping. She, she, she over there. <laughs> Wanna buy a ring and the ring and cheap and then they know they're in the middle of nowhere. He was 30 miles. And then they was about to get married. Mama and got then, a mullet. Yeah. Mama got a mullet. This, <laughs> <laughs> this what that got to do with anything? That's important. That's, that's, uh, time Mama out. got a mullet. Mom, your mama got a mullet. Time. That was a mess. This ain't gonna and work. I think it was the day before they were supposed to get married and something went down and that was the end of it. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. It was foolish whatever it was. But my mess. Yes. But that's my little 90 day spiel. Happily ever after on now if y'all wanna watch it. Uh -huh. It's great. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and slide y'all. We know y'all talk y'all head out this video, but thank you if you watched all the way to the end. Put me a little chicken leg emoji in the comment for this brown stew chicken that was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so good. I'm gonna touch it later. Again. For real. I'm full though. God, yeah, I am. Body, boo. And I knew I was gonna be because I like it's been all day. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's well, it ain't been all day, but you know, just working on the meal, you know, you gotta take your time. So mm -hmm. I just been Snacking here, eating little pieces here. Like, Breathe. just little pieces of <laughs> shit will make you so cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank y'all for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and share this video. Share it out with, share it out with everybody because sharing is care about yeah, us. Care about, about us. us y'all. We love you. Yeah. Mina. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Cheers to the week. I'm gonna take one more. Ah. Alright, y'all. Bye bye. <laughs>